tank, power from the store of the tank of the horizontal base. At time t minutes, the depth of power from the tank is x. When t is 0, x is 72. Tap in the side of the tank to reach the power from the flow. When the tap is opened, stuff happens and other things are there. Right, dx by dt is that. How long does it take for the level of traffic to fall from a depth of 72 to a depth of 35? It doesn't tell us that we have to do it, but we're going to have to solve this differential equation, aren't we? We've got dx by dt is minus 4, x minus 8 to the third. Um, so it's a differential equation. We need to separate the variables and integrate all of that stuff, get the x's onto the left and the t's onto the right, we haven't got any t's, but that is 1 over x minus 8 to the third, dx by dt is minus 4. There's our first move. Now we can integrate, so we're doing the integral of x minus 8 to the minus a third, dx is the integral of minus 4 dt. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so that goes x minus 8, a third plus one, <coughs> 2 thirds, divided by 2 thirds, so times 3 over 2, is minus 4t, don't forget, plus c. Are we, are we happy with that so far? Is there anything like, wrong with just like flipping it at the start and saying, saying t over dx is minus no. 4? No, that would be alright. Did you burn? dt by dx is 1 over yeah. all of that, and then you end up with the same thing, don't you? You just have it written the other way around. So that, that would be fun as well. Uh, now, what do we have? When t is 0, x is 72. Aha. So if t equals 0, x is 72. So we've got 3 over 2 times 64 to the power of 2 thirds is c because it's minus 4 times 0 plus c. And 64 to the power of 2 thirds, conveniently, is going to be alright, isn't it? That is, uh, cube root of 64 is 4, squared is 16. So that's 3 over 2 times 16, or 24. So we've got 3 over 2, x minus 8, the 2 thirds, is minus 4t plus 24. Now, that's, that's our equation. What are we supposed to do with it? How long does it take for it to fall from 72 to 35? So when x equals 35, we want to find what t is. If x equals 35, we've got 3 over 2 times, again, how convenient, 35 take 8 happens to be 27, which is also a very nice number to have in there. Minus 4t plus 24. Um, 27 cube rooted is 3, squared is 9, so that is 3 over 2 times 9, or 27 over 2, is that right? Is minus 4t plus 24, so 4t is 24 take 27 over 2, which would be, is that 21 over 2? I'm losing confidence that I've done that right. Have I done that right? Yeah, 21. Oh, so t is 21 over 8. Um, thanks, John. Uh, which, what are we, what is t? t is minutes. So that is whatever it is in minutes. 2.65. 2.65. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Then, then the question says, the tank is filled again to its original depth of 72, uh, and the tap is then opened. The paraffin flows out until it stops. How long does this take? Well, the important bit here, remember this, uh, we have looked at this question before, the important bit here is not, we're not finding how long it takes for the tank to get empty. That's, that's not what the question is asking us. It's flowing out until it stops. And if we look at the differential equation, the rate at which it's flowing out, 
um, the, the rate of change of depth is going down all the time, isn't it? And as we get to 8, it becomes 0. So once we get to x being 8, at that point, the flow from the tank has stopped. As x gets closer to 8 from being, from being much bigger than that, the, the flow is reducing all the time. But at 8, it stops. It wouldn't then make sense for x to go below 8 in terms of what's going on in this question. That, that would be completely illogical, wouldn't it? Um, so once we get to 8, it stops. When x equals 8, dx by dt equals 0. Okay, at that point, the rate of change becomes 0. So at that point, all the para paraffin has, flow has flowed out. So that we need to sub that back into our original equation. So 3 over 2 times x minus 8, uh, with, uh, that's 0, isn't it? Times 0 is minus 4t plus 24. So we end up with 4t being equal to 24, or t being 6. And that's maths.